story to tell. As the last version of the famous MiG-21 light fighter lie, the performance of the MiG-21 beast is considered to be equivalent to the US F-16A. It is perhaps the greatest leap in the fish bed family, a fighter far superior to its predecessors. The birth of the MiG-21 Bs was conceived by the Soviet Union in the late 1960s. In order to further improve the performance of the MiG-21 and Su-15 fighters, in the winter of 1971, the Soviet government issued a request to the Machine Building Design Bureau, Soyuz, to build a new Tomaski R-25-300 after-burning turbojet engine with a drive thrust of 40.18 kN and 69.58 kN with afterburner. On the basis of the new engine, the project to upgrade MiG-21 fighter officially commenced, designated the MiG-21 Bs. The production of the MiG-21 Bs was started in 1971 at the factory in Gorky City. In addition to the new turbojet engine, the fuel system was perfected adding hard points to the fuel tank, allowing an additional nearly 239 liters of fuel to be added to increase the range of the new fighter. The MiG-21 Beast has a length of 14.7 meters a wingspan of 7.154 meters, a height of 4.1 meters, an empty weight of 5.2 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of 8.8 tons. Wings were of the tail delta configuration with both pairs squared and mid-mounted to the fuselage. The main wings were thin and near triangular shapes with clipped wingtips. The fuselage was a near cycle form, capped with the front with a nose mounted cone placed within the nose intake. Duck work ran along the sides of the cockpit to fit the single engine. Make 21 bees has a raised by from the rear of the canopy, obscuring the pilot's rear view, but increasing endurance. The new engine remains the same size as the previous one, with a negligible increase in weight. In fact, the thrust of the R-25-300 engine exceeded the initial requirements, making the aircraft more maneuverable. Unfortunately, the mig 21 b fuselage has no room for further upgrades, including the exhausted compartments. Otherwise, the power of the mig 21 b will be much more powerful. Although the MiG-21 Beast radar is not large in size, it also significantly expanded the fighter's ability to track the targets. MiG-21 Beast, equipped with the RP-21 Sapphire radar, 
the ASP PFD21 optical site, the PNK Polyot OI navigation complex, making it an extremely formidable opponent at that time. The MiG-21 Bs retains the larger anti-interference communication channel, which ensures communication with the first dog route base automatic command system. The pilot is equipped with a KM-1 or KM-1M ejection seat and receiver of air pressure PVD-18, which makes it possible for the pilot to escape safely in the event of being hit. The maneuverability of the MiG-21 Bs is close to that of early four-generation fighters, such as the F-15, F-16, and Mirage 2000. Radar cross-section is nearly the same as the F-16A fighter. Compares to previous variants of the MiG-21, the MiG-21Bs has improved wings, improved onboard equipment, and a significant increase in new weapons. The MiG-21B's weapons load is about 1.3 tons, allowing it to deploy up to 4K-13M, RS-2US, R-3S, R-3R, R-60, and R-60M air-to-air missiles, or can carry 57mm and 240mm rocket pods, or to 500 kilograms bombs. For hard parts, can accommodate gun pods, aviation cameras, and radio electronic reconnaissance devices. An internal 23mm GSH 23L gun with 200 rounds available. In 1972, the aerospace plant in the city of Gorky built the first 35 MiG-21Bs and entered service that same year. From 1972 to 1985, the Soviet Union built 2,013 MiG-21Bs. My video about the MiG 21 Beast fighter ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye, and see you again in the next videos.